Thank you. We are counting down the days to Dingus Day, and the Water Buffalo Club has a pretty special surprise <laughs> you're debuting right here on the CW23. That's right, yeah. to our East Fort and Barnes. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You and Abby are modeling it uh, right now. Let's talk about yeah. the new design. Yeah, so this uh, was requested by many people that wanted us to do a Dingus Day one. And when they ask, we deliver. <laughs> you gotta give the people what they want, right? right? Right, that's how a lot of these have come to be, this whole collection now that we have going. And it's a way to keep the refugees at Stitch Buffalo employed throughout the year. Mm -hmm. They're making very good money on these hats. And they're not cheap, we know that, but uh, they're also very well made and handmade here in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, we were talking about the quality in the commercial break. Now, something that goes along with Dingus Day is the squirt guns. Yes. You know, every time we show that video, this woman is just getting <laughs> Here she so, comes. There it is. There it is. <laughs> yep. Yep. Off crazy? comes her hat. <laughs> these, these though, um, they, they're perfectly fine if they get wet. Absolutely. I, we've worn these to the Bills games when it's been snowing all day, raining. I put them in the washing machine, so they've gotten as wet as they could at Dingus Day 2. You just have to air dry them, and then we put them on a paper towel, which is how we store these. Perfect. <laughs> on paper towels, so it's it's fine. And you did make reference to the refugees, which, you know, helped to make these. Just remind us what Stitch Buffalo is and the important work that refugees are able to do in the community. It's an incredible organization, and it's also a store on Niagara Street, right across from Rich Products. And they, uh, they get the refugees involved in the community with their talents, whether it's embroidery, um, stitching things like this. Uh, they do uh, renovations to clothing. So they are so intertwined in the community. And what this project has even taken it to a whole nother level, it's really brought them into the community. I mean, they didn't know what Dingus Day was. Mm -hmm. They didn't know mm -hmm. what St. Patrick's Day Parade was. Mm -hmm. And I love it. And I walk in with red material on these patches and they're like, oh boy, what are we doing now, T? <laughs> so it's so fun to see them really embracing everything that we as Buffalonians love to do in our traditions and also us into their world, whether it's Pakistan or Afghanistan or Burma, so. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, if somebody fun. wants to get one of these, what do they need to do? Yep, everything's online, waterbuffaloclub716.com and everything is there, you pick your, while well, you pick this, if you want a Dingus Day one, yes, but then we have other ones like the traditional one. You can pick the color hat and then what color horns you want, whether you want red, blue, bazoobas, you know, we have all different options out there, so it's pretty self explanatory on the website. Yep, Dingus Day a week from this coming Monday, and I know you have a couple other designs in the works, so we look forward to having you back. And we do. We will those. keep you posted. A lot of fun things happening. Fantastic. Right. Thanks Thank for having so me. Thank you so much. Stick with us, Mike, is tracking the forecast when we come back.